So it got started at a very, very grassroots basis. The thing a lot of people don't realize is that in the beginning, the Jazz Fest wasn't necessarily a bunch of stages where you'd have uh, different bands playing. Now, there were bands playing, but the bands were made up bands. What I mean by that is that individual musicians were brought in who were jazz players, improvisers. There were so many saxophone players, so many trumpet players, piano players, guitar players, drummers, bass players, etc. And then they would mix them up into different groups. It was never the same group twice. And so I would say that the festival started off more like a jazz party than a jazz festival. Where the, uh, the festival was literally located was the stages were very, very condensed. Yes, we had the plaza stage on Main Street. We also used the Knights of Columbus, which is now called the Columbus Club, as a stage. But all the other stages were in a hotel in downtown Elkhart called the Midway Motor Lodge. Midway Motor Lodge isn't there anymore. That's the big open green space that we have by the Civic Plaza. So you would only see activity real close to the hotel and the Civic Plaza. Today, our festival goes through the whole street. There are literally hundreds of jazz festivals throughout the world, especially in the summertime. But the fact that this small town of Elkhart, Indiana, has been able to put on 32 consecutive years of a quality jazz festival. It's just quite an opportunity to live in a small town that can put on a big city festival.